Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 852, JEDCOM Uncleaned Parse Last Name. Suggestion 852 is caused when a JEDCOM import used special characters in a last name, such as parentheses around the name, a question mark at the end, diacritics, or the use of a number. The last name at birth can contain only letters, space, periods, dashes, and apostrophes. Here is the suggestion report for Emma Unknown, which shows two suggestions, 852 and 133. The info box for 852 shows it couldn't parse Robotel in parentheses. It might be possible while searching for Emma's maiden name that we also find a birth, marriage, or death date for her. Here is the public view of Emma's profile. It was orphaned, but I adopted it to change the maiden name if we find it. If you are working with an orphaned profile, you will need to adopt it, at least temporarily, to change the last name at birth. If you aren't the profile manager, you will need to contact them so they can change it. You can see the array note about the last name in the biography section. It would be simplest to only delete the JEDCOM text, but not the best solution. We need to go on a hunt for clues, and Mr. E is eager to get started. First, check the profile for content and sources. There is no information. Then hover over her husband's name until an info box appears. No dates are showing. Next, hover over her daughter Grace's name. That shows she was born in 1890 in Oklahoma. This is our first clue. Click on Grace's name to get to her profile. At the top right, hover over her Wikitree ID and on the drop-down menu, click on Research. Root Search gives us several sites to choose from. Let's try Family Search first, since it is a free site. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. There is a 1910 U.S. Census for Grace and her family. It shows Emma was born around 1873 in Missouri, which gives us our second clue. There is also a Find a Grave Memorial listed in Grace's search. Click on the link to get to the memorial. Grace's parents are both listed. This is our third clue. Click on Emma's name. Her memorial shows that her maiden name is Crippen. An obituary states her birth and death dates and tells that she remarried to a Mr. Biller after her first husband died. However, there is no evidence in the obituary that her last name at birth is Crippen. In order to confirm her maiden name, we need to keep hunting. The 1910 census shows a son, Homer T. On root search, add his name, birth year, and place. Click on Family Search. There is nothing in the results that show his mother's last name at birth, so let's try something else. Delete the birthplace and click Update. There is an entry which shows his marriage and the names of his parents, listing his mother's maiden name as Crippen. So it is confirmed. The 1910 census and the Find a Grave Memorial generally agree. We now have a last name at birth, as well as birth and death dates, which address Suggestion 133. Go to Emma's profile and click on Edit. At Last Name at Birth, click on Edit. On the next screen, entitled Fix the Last Name at Birth, type Crippen in the first box. In the box below that, give an explanation to justify the change. In this case, documentation for Emma's maiden name was found. Click on Correct the Last Name at Birth. You are returned to her profile. In the Data section, add the birth date 
and birthplace. Mark the boxes as certain. Add the death date and death plate. Mark the boxes as certain. Now we need to organize the biography. In the name subheading, change Robotail to Crippen. Delete the array text below that. Create the subheadings Birth, Residence, Death, and Burial. Add the appropriate facts to each. Next, we need to add the sources to each fact. Place the cursor next to Name and click on the Citation button above. Copy the family search record for her son's marriage and paste it between the reference tags on her profile. Repeat these steps for the 1910 census source. Click the citation button next to death. Copy the Find a Grave Memorial citation and paste it between the ref tags. Add the Wikitree Find a Grave template and delete the first URL. Name the citation ref name equal FAG. Copy that tag and paste it next to birth. Place a forward slash at the end of the tag. Copy that tag and paste it next to burial. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the Biography and Sources sections. Go to the middle of this screen and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor. Copy the suggested number and name and explain what I changed. Save your work. Take this opportunity to add the son's marriage and other sources to Emma's relative's profiles. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right click on Status on the Suggestion Status page. Make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Since Suggestion 133 has also been resolved, click Status for Related Suggestions. Next, of the five status options, choose one. In this case, correct it. Leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. I chose a comment and added to it. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. You and Mr. E have solved another case. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.